go high level tutorial hello everyone and welcome back in today's video we're going to be exploring the all-in-one sales marketing and crm tool called go high level the best part about this is that you can get started completely for free by using the link provided in the description box down below to get a 30-day free trial of go high level now let's get started once you click on the link provided in the description box you're going to be led to this page where you can click on start an extended free trial once you do that, you're just going to put in some basic information about your company, name, and address, and you're going to create your Go High Level account. Now that you have created your Go High Level account, this is what your account dashboard is going to look like. In your account dashboard on the left, you're going to see your agency dashboard and a menu. And then on the top, it allows you to switch to different sub accounts for your clients. Now on Go High Level, you have the ability to manage everything from sales, CRMs to individual clients, and you can easily find clients using Go High Level as well. So for example, if you're looking for clients or if you already have them, you can go into the prospecting section. Once you go into prospecting over here, you can actually search for any type of prospect that you want. So you can click on add a prospect and you can search for the business that you're working with. Or if you're not working with that business, you can actually just search for any type of business. So if I am looking for a hotel, I can search for hotels and you will get a list of the different businesses that are in your area or in a particular area. You can search for virtual businesses as well, where you can add a business map URL, the business name and information. But I'm just going to search for hotels. And once you search for any niche, you will see their overall rating, whether or not they have an active Google business listing, whether they have a WordPress website and their conversion rates. Now this generates a complete marketing audit report. So you can actually take all the information that is present for any hotel or any business and you can provide them with different areas that they could improve upon. So if I go with our first page over here, I'm going to go with this one over here. If I open this up, this will show me all the information about this particular hotel. I can click on save prospect and once I click on save prospect, this will generate a detailed marketing report. This will include all the information that I would need to further improve upon this business. This works great if you're already in business with a particular brand and you want to generate an analysis on what you can improve as well as a great way for you to get started with providing a proposition, a value proposition to any other business. So we're going to wait for our prospect to be completed. And in the meanwhile, if you're someone that is, that is not certain about how to add accounts, what kind of information to include, you can go into account snapshots on the left. Account snapshots provide you a basic overview of the different industries and the different ways that you're meant to add industry accounts. You can click on account snapshots and then click on snapshot templates. Once you do that, you can search for any type of business. So let's say we are going restaurants and bars and I can click on create sub account. Once you do that, you can select any type of restaurant or hotel and you will see all the different uh, hotels and restaurants. You can add the hotel or restaurant. And once you do that, you can select it or even add it manually if you want to manually type out all the information. And once you do that, you will have a basic brief of how accounts are meant to look like. Now, going back into our prospect, we are going to add our first prospect. So you guys can see prospecting is currently open. Now, once you have a prospect, you're going to provide them with a proposition. You can click on this. And once you click on this, you will see a marketing audit report is generated. You're going to click on show report. In this particular report, you will have the overall score, the online reputation, SEO analysis, 
listing, techno stack, and business details. And if you scroll down, you will see a itemized list of all the things that are being done and not done. So they don't have a website. They don't have a chat widget on their web website. They don't have operational hours added in their Google business profile, and they don't seem to review their replies. So they have only replied to 6% of their reviews. Then if we take a look at their techno stack analysis, they don't have a website, so we can't see any functional errors that are happening within their site. Then they have their listing info where a lot of their online listing info is inaccurate. So potential customers would not be able to find them. Then when it comes to listings, they are listed on Google Places and Facebook. They are not present on any other search engine. So if someone is using Bing, Yelp, MapQuest, or any other tool to find a hotel, then they're not going to be shown and they could lose a lot of customers. Then if you further scroll, you will also see an online reputation. Now they seem to have a great online reputation and their average response time is the same day. Their total reviews that are analyzed are 50 with 68 reviews in total and they only have around two negative reviews. Then you have an SEO analysis, so their SEO is not optimized and you can scroll down and see other information, other bits of information like their competitors as well. So once you have this report, you can export this report as a PDF or share it as well. And additionally, you can just use this as a simple way to provide some kind of value to their business. Now, once you have a prospect and you've provided your value and you're looking and they have converted into a client. So instead of having to manage everything on your own on a different CRM tool, all you have to do is click on convert to sub account. Then you're going to add the account name. So let's say this is going to be Allison. And then after that, I am just going to add their email and then click on next. Once I do that, I will have all of their information and I can click on finish. Now that they have been added as a sub account, I can simply click on the top. Once I click on the top, I will have all accounts over here. Then I can click on the account that I want to switch to and I will have my individual client dashboard. Your individual client dashboard allows you to manage each individual client that you might have, including conversations. So all of their socials you can link over here. You can also manage their calendars and appointments, set up different contacts. Your contacts can also include companies as well as individual contacts. And if they already have directories of contacts, all you have to do is click on this icon to import any lists in CSV format. Additionally, you can create any type of pipeline that you want as well, including sales or marketing pipelines and your own customized stages. To do that, just click on opportunities on the left. Once you click on opportunities, you're going to click on pipelines and create new pipeline. So if I have a sales pipeline, I can add prospecting, then I can add demo, the next stage, whatever your pipelines have, then I can add one and then lost. And this is just a really basic and filtered down example. After that, on the top right, you can add different filters and different types of propositions, which means how likely are you to win or convert a client? So these are going to be statuses won or lost is not going to be displayed on the pie chart. I also don't want it to be on the funnel charts as well, but if you want, you can choose to display it as well. You can also then just click on save. Once you've done that, you can click on opportunities and in your opportunities, you can choose the pipeline you want to open. This will display all of the fields or statuses. And from here, for each individual client, you can add the opportunities that they do have. So you can click on add opportunity over here to add any of the business deals that they have, as well as add any tasks that are related to that deal. You can also create your own invoices, estimates, and add your own products in Go High Level. Simply click on payments and then over here, click on invoice and estimates. Click on new and then click on new invoice. This will directly take all of the sub account information and import that into the invoice over here. And then all you have to do on behalf of your client is add the line items that they are selling. You can 
click on select a product and select default products that you can add. Additionally, you can create a new product at any time when you're generating invoices for ease of use. Next up, you also can create your own documents and contracts and save certain contracts or documents as template versions, which allows you to have a easy standard operating procedure anytime you require a certain document. You can even manage orders, subscriptions, payment links, and more from here. And to add your products, just click on products over here and click on create product. Now, if you're someone that is using Stripe or if your client is already using Stripe as their payment gateway and they have already added their products there, you can click on back, click on import from Stripe and import your pre-existing product from Stripe. And that is how you can get started with Go High Level. It's such an amazing and effective tool to use for any business. And the best part about using Go High Level is that their plans have unlimited features. You can add unlimited users and members into your agency space for one price only. Their starter plan starts at $97 per month and unlimited for $2.97 a month, which has API access, sub accounts, and even a branded desktop application. So make sure to click on the link provided in the description to get a 30 day free trial of Go High Level. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and I will catch you guys in the next.